Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you tonight? Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Welcome, Rene, Jessica Esmeralda, Veronica. We got Thank Jessica. You. Thank you. Thank you. We got Jensi, Alexandra, you. Miguel, Luz Garcia, Kevin, Joaquin, and Sandra Mariso. Welcome. Welcome to one more class. All right. Thank we are you. going to remember. Thank you so much for attendance to your new session. We are going to continue with our WH questions. Remember that yesterday we were discussing about the WH question words. So we have uh, who, we have what, when, where, why, how, which, and today we'll continue with who's. Do you have questions? Hello? No. No? No questions? No question. All right. No. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, we we'll continue his, right? Because we didn't finish. No logramos terminar ayer. We'll continue with whose. When do we use whose? Well, this one, it is used to ask about ownership or possession. So basically, you investigate the person that possesses something. So that means the king. For example, whose phone is this? ¿De quién es este teléfono? Whose phone is this? Whose car is that? You can also write like this. Whose car is that? So it's investigating about <clears throat> possession for. And for example, if you want to answer, like this, because it's a thing, right? It's a possession. You can use possession like, it's my car. Now, another question. Whose book is this? Whose book is this? How would you answer? How would be the answer? It's Kevin. my book. Okay. It's my book. Okay, very good. You can answer it's it's my book. It's my book. Mm -hmm. That's good. So you can be with different possessions, right? It's my book. Also, you can say about another person's book. It can be it's my brother's book, it's my friend's book, it's my sister's book, my classmate's book. So it can be different possessive one. It's about who's. Now, let's check here other questions to do an exercise. Let me erase this. And we'll go to the next one. To this part. Now, to investigate the time, it's also possible to ask, what time is it? So you ask about what, right? What time? About the specific hour that you have. For example, what time is it? What of the three is correct? It's 12 o'clock, it's two o'clock, or it's one o'clock? Let's see, what is the correct option? We have three options here. What time is it? Option A, B, or C? Yeah. Okay. Option A. Option A. Excellent. That's correct because it's 12 o'clock. That's correct. So here we have the numbers too. Now, other examples with WH questions. We have with when. Remember that when also investigates about the time. When is your class? In your case, you have it's at 8 p.m. When is your class? Now, let's see with what. What 
is this? It's a tablet. What is this? Also can be, it's a computer. It's a cell phone. Well. Also you have about who. Remember no. this one? Investigate person. Who are you? Who am who I? Are my who are you? I'm Mike. Mute. The new technician. technician. So it's like when you present, you introduce yourself. Then we have where. Where is Diana? Where is Diana? What answer can we write there? What answer? How will be an answer? Right? Where is Diana? Okay. What answer is possible? Hello. 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 She is the class. She is? The class. In the class. In the class. Very good. So you investigate about the area, right? So she is in the class. In the class, that's correct. Now about why, remember why investigate the reason of something. For example, why are you sad? And you can answer, because my pet is sick. So that is a reason, right, that you are giving. Let's see about how. Remember how is the method, the method, right? Or the manner. For example, how are you? How will be an answer? How would you answer? Possible answer? I fine. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. And you can also continue with I'm fine. Thank you. So these are like manners to answer, right? To different WH. And here it depends what you want to investigate. Depende qué queramos investigar. Entonces, esa debe de ser la WH words que vamos a, a emplear para formular esa pregunta. Now, any question about it? No questions? No. Okay, let's continue then. Okay, to go to a practice here, we have some pictures. Got some pictures here. But here we have also example with this combination. We have what plus the verb be plus now plus like. So this is to investigate. For example, what's the weather like? So in investigate, how is the weather? If it's hot, if it's cold. If it's sunny, for example, it's sunny, it's rainy, it's windy, or it's stormy. What's the weather like, depending on the picture? What is the correct? It's A, B, C, or D? B. Rainy. B, right. It's rainy. It's lluvioso. So notice here, let's observe that you use the verb to be. And as the weather is something, then the subject is it. But you have a contraction, right? You say, it's, it's sunny. Why is it sunny? Soleado. Excellent. It's rainy? Lluvioso. Excellent. Windy? Que hay mucho viento, right? It's Nublado, windy. Uh -huh. Cloudy. Nublado sería cloudy. Clouded. And acá es como Cloudy. cuando hace mucho viento. It's, it's, sí, sí. it's a stormy? Stormy. Cuando hay tormenta, right? So you say, oh, it's stormy. So now tell me, what's the weather like in eh, El Pital? Look, this is El Pital. What's the weather like? Is it hot or cold? <laughs> 
plus. It's what cold. It? It's cold, right? Cloud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah, that's correct. So we have it's cold. It's like this. It's cold. See? Because the weather, right, is very different there in El Pital. It's cold. Now, let's check another one. Let's check our next one. And this one. Now, let's practice with some exercises to investigate about person in this case. We are going to guess. Vamos a adivinar. ¿Quiénes son estos personajes? Let's see. For example, who's that girl? Who's that girl? Who knows? Who's that girl? She's very famous. She's very famous. Neither. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's that girl? Is it Shakira? No. No, no she isn't, mm -hmm. right? Luz Garcia? Is um, she Selena Gomez? No. <laughs> no, she isn't. <laughs> Jessica Franco. Who is she? Who's that girl? No sé, ni idea. No, you don't know? No. She, she sings pop music. Uh, and... No, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. No, she isn't. No. <laughs> no. You know, she sings, she's very popular because um, she sings La Isla Bonita. Katy Perry. <laughs> no, she said. <laughs> she's Madonna. Excellent. Very good. She's Madonna. Have you heard La Isla Bonita by Madonna? She sings in, in San Pedro. It's an island, but in Belize. So she's Madonna. What about this man? Who's that man? Nayib Bukele. Ah, very good. So it's he or she? He. Um, he. he, excellent. He is? He is Nayib, Nayib Bukele. Bukele. He is the president. Very good job. Nice. Okay. We have these ones now. We're going to watch the video. Let's go to the platform. In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions with B. Alguien creo que está escribiendo. First thing that I would like. Can you hear? Se escucha. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form WH questions with B. The first thing that I would like to explain is the WH words. Whenever we say WH words, we refer to the following. Who, what, when, where, how, why. On your screen, you can see these words display. Let me write the rule to follow in order to form WH questions would be, you're going to have a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of pronoun or complement. Let's take a look at some of the examples on the screen. What's your name? And the answer for that type of question is my name is Jill. Who's that? And the answer for that type of question is, he's my brother. Who are they? 
And the answer for that type of question is, they're my classmates. Where are you from? And the answer for that type of question is, I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They're from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice. What's real like? It's very beautiful. Now it's your time to practice making some examples of your own. First, I would suggest for you to ask and answer those questions for yourself. And then for your friends and relatives, remember the more you practice, the easier this concept will become for you. No se escucha. Tiene apagado el micrófono. Now, can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Se escucha? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now that you watch the video, we can remember some questions. For example, here we have what's the weather like? We have what's the weather like? The combination here is what? Is now here we can also ask what's like this. We'll investigate what's el pital like. This is also to investigate about the manner. How is el pital? Like, como es el pital? Tell me, how is it? Is it beautiful? Is it big? Is it cold? How is it? You can give it an opinion. Cold. It's cold. It's cold. Uh -huh. What else? Another characteristic. It's beautiful. Ah, very good. It's beautiful. It's incredible. It's incredible. Excellent. It's incredible. Right? So you can give or a description about the place. Also, you can investigate about persons like this. Let's see that you investigate the power of the manner, how a person is. Right here. Here you have, who's that, right? But you can also investigate like, what's Madonna like? What's Madonna like? Like, como es Madonna? Is she beautiful? Also, you can say that she's generous. She's a good person. She's a bad person. A good singer. It's How can famous. you describe? Ah, very good. Okay, she's famous. She's famous. What else? She's pretty. You can also say a description. She's pretty. What about the president? What description can we give about the president? What's the president he is like? He's intelligent. What else? He is intelligent. Mm -hmm. All right, that's good. What's he the is... president? He is excellent president. President. He's, a, he's an excellent president. Okay. He's intelligent. He is an excellent president. He's the best. 
he is the best president. You see, we have a lot of descriptions of a person. So that's, what's the president like? What's Madonna like? So investigate the manner, how the person is. Investiga como, como alguien es. It's, so you investigate that. Not only about persons, but also about places. No solo personas, sino también de lugares. So, or in general, right? You can investigate that. Now, let's continue with our next part. We go ahead with this one. This one is to practice about personal information of persons. Now, we have name is Sarah. Surname is Smith. Look, that surname is the same as last name. Surname is a last name. It's a lot of people. So we have her name is Sarah. So let's describe it. What's her name? So you can say her name is Sarah. Her name is Sarah. Excellent. What's her last name? Or her surname? Her surname is Smith. Smith. Excellent. That's good. How old is she? Jensi, Jensi Alexandra, how old is she? Um, uh -huh. How old 20, is she? She is? 20, she is? Uh -huh. um, 21. Excellent. She is 21 or she is 21 years old, right? Two forms are correct. Now, Rene, when is her birthday? Birthday. Her birthday, su cumpleaños, her, her birthday, birthday is, is September 23. 23, yeah. very good. Kevin Orlando, what is her favorite food? Kevin? My favorite food is... Her, her favorite. We're talking about her... Sarah, Sarah. Sarah's information. Okay. What is Sarah's favorite food? Sarah's favorite food is it's salad, salad and uh, beans. And beans, very good, nice. Miguel Antonio, what is Sarah's favorite place for a holiday? Miguel Antonio, hello, hello, are you there? Are you present? No. Hey, Jessica, Jessica Franco. She what favorite her place favorite? for her. a holiday. Her, her favorite, favorite uh -huh. place, place for a holiday, the beach. It's the beach. It's the beach. That's all right. Good one. Veronica, now let's see about Jerry. So what is his name? What is his name? Remember that here, the possessive is different, right? Now we don't say her, but his. What is his name? There is Jerry. His name? His name? His name is Jerry. It's Jerry. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Let's continue, Veronica. What is his last name or surname? What is his surname? Yeah, here is Davis. His surname? His surname, so is, is, is David. Very good. That's nice. Okay, let's continue. Jessica Esmeralda. How old is Jerry? Jessica? Jessica Esmeralda? Hello. Loida. Loida, are you present? Loida, hello. Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio, are you present? Jessica Rivas. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Now, what is Jerry's la um, age? Tell me, how old is he? How old is Jerry? Yes, uh, 48. 
Ajá. Uh -huh. He's he's he is forty-eight. Forty-eight. Very good. Nice. Jessica Rivas. Jessica, are you present? No. Luz Garcia. What is Jerry's favorite food? His favorite food is. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Sausages. Sausages and me salchichas. Sausages. Sausages. Good. Yeah, that's correct. Sausages. Uh, and, and eggs. And eggs. And eggs. That's correct. Good one. Sandra Marisol. What is his favorite place for a holiday? His favorite place is uh -huh. the lake. The lake, that's good. It's like Coatepeque Lake, right? Or Ilopaco Lake. Very good, nice. Let's continue. Carlos Arturo, are you present? Yes. Yes? Okay. Now, let's see about Stuart. What is his name? His name is Stuart. Excellent. What is his surname? Uh, his surname is Johnson. Excellent, that's right. Thank you. Catherine, Rebecca, are you present? I hit 30. How old is he? How old is he? He's 13. 13. 13. Very good. He's 13 years old. When is his birthday? When is his birthday? Catherine? Hola. Hello. When is his birthday? Stuart's birthday. His birthday. January is January January thirty. Thirty. That's good. It's January thirty. Very good. Sorry. Right. That's correct. Joaquin. Joaquin, are you there? Yes. Yes. Buenas what noches, is... teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Buenos días. Oh, perdón. Buenas good noches. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to your class. Eh, fíjese que yo Dale. soy la que le dijo que tengo una cirugía en la cara. Ah, ok. Entonces, yes. solo iba a estar en opción de escucha. Ah, ok, perfecto. Oh, okay, no problema. Eh, repeat, okay. the, repeat the name, please. Eh, oh. Jessica Esmeralda Hernández Escobar. Ok, thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Jessica. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. We have about Stuart, right? We have that his birthday is on January 30. Then we have his favorite food. What's his favorite, favorite food? food? Is pizza. It's pizza. Excellent. That's good. What is his favorite place for a holiday? Favorite uh, food is the Monday. The mountains, uh -huh. the mountains, the ah, that's the good. Mountains. It's like El Pital, right? So you have the mountains, those places, that's good, thank you. All right, let's continue. Jancy Ramos. Now let's see about Linda. Jancy, are you present? Jancy? No? Buenas noches. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Tell me about Linda. What is her name? Jancy? Uh, Hello, Jancy. Sí. Se escucha. Es que Hello. tengo interferencia. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Now, let's see, Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio, are you present? Rene, Rene, please. Can you please? What is Linda's surname? She is some name, but we, but we. Her, her surname? Her surname? Yes. Her surname is is Patrick. It's Patrick. Very good. How old is Linda? 
How old is Linda? She is 32. She's 32, excellent, that's good. Sandra Marisol, when is her birthday? Her birthday is July 24th. Excellent, what is her favorite food? Her favorite food is cheese sandwich. Sandwiches, excellent, that's good. All right, Carlos Arturo. What is her favorite place for a holiday? Her favorite place is the island. Is the island. Very good. Nice. The island. The island. 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 En esta palabra, la S no va a sonar. Es como Buda la S. Esta palabra, the island. That's all right. Okay, let's go ahead then with the next part. Now we have Susan. Luz Garcia, are you present? Luz Garcia? Her name is Susan. Excellent. What is her surname? Her surname is Collins. Collins, excellent. Very good. Okay, now let's see. We'll continue. Veronica, Veronica, what is Susan's age or how old is Susan? How old is Susan? Her 70. She's? She's 70. She's 70. That's good. Gen C. Gen C. Alexandra. When is her birthday? Um, birthday. 13. No. 13. 30? 30? 13 of March. Or March. That's good. What is her favorite food? Favorite food, broccoli. Her favorite? Her favorite? Her favorite, favorite food, broccoli. It's, it's broccoli. Broccoli, that's correct. Good. Loida, Loida Rodriguez, are you present? Loida? No? Kevin? Kevin Orlando? Hi, Kevin? Hi. Hi, Kevin. What is her uh, favorite place for a holiday? It's your favorite place is the uh -huh. country. The countryside. Yes. You know what is the countryside? It's el campo. So it's not the city. It's the countryside. Yes. That's good. Okay. Now let's see the last one. That is Phil. Juan Antonio, what is Phil's surname? Juan Antonio, are you present? No? Oscar? Oscar Mesa? Okay, okay, acabo de conectarme, okay. Hello, good evening, welcome. Okay. We are, we are investigating with, to practice the WH questions. And we investigate about personal information. For example, here we have the name. His name is Phil. What is his surname? Surname is like the last name, el apellido. Mm -hmm. So what is Phil's surname? Oh. You have the surname here that is Sarandon. Sarandon. Mm. So his surname, his surname is Sarandon. Let's repeat it. His surname, mm -hmm. his surname is, is Sarandon. Sarandon. That's good. Look at that here. We have the age. How old is Phil? How old is Phil? Like that, right? How old is mm -hmm. Phil? Mm -hmm. He is. He is. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you pronounce the number. What number is this? 18. 18. Excellent. So he is 18. All 18 mm -hmm. years old, right? So it can be like that. Right? Good okay. one. Very good. 
Okay, now let's see. Okay. We got, let's see. Jancy Ramos, are you present? Jancy? Or Joaquin? Joaquin, are you present? Yes. Yes. Okay, now tell me, when is his birthday? When is Phil's birthday? Okay, hello. Hello, hello. All right, Veronica. Are you present, Veronica? Present. All right, thank you. Okay, tell me, when is his birthday? When is Phil's birthday? His birthday, December 24. It's December 24, yes, that's correct. Now tell me, what is his favorite food? His favorite food is spaghetti. Spaghetti, that's all right, excellent, thank you. Juan Antonio, hello, Juan Antonio. Hello. Hello. Now tell yes. me here, what is his favorite place for a holiday? Uh, His favorite oh. place, a big city. It's a big city, yeah, that's all right. Excellent, okay. Columbus, so okay. we have we have practice for personal information, right? We have the name, we have the last name or the surname. We have the age, the birthday, the favorite food, the favorite places to visit. Like for example, on vacation, right? You have different places to visit here. Do you have questions? Eh, una pregunta, la diferencia entre vacation y holiday, ¿cuál oh, es? Oh, that's a big difference mm -hmm. because imagine that in a vacation you have three days. En vacation, mm -hmm. uno tiene días libres. Bueno, mm -hmm. depende de la empresa también, ¿verdad? Pero vacation, usted tiene días libres. Como irse a descansar. Pero un holiday... No necesariamente tiene que ser una vacación, porque, por ejemplo, holiday in February, porque en enero creo que no tenemos holiday, como días festivos, que se celebran, mm -hmm. pero no son vacación. En febrero, por ejemplo, tenemos Valentine's Day, el día de, de, del amor y la amistad. Es un holiday, mm -hmm. es un día que se celebra, pero no es vacación. In sí. March is different. In March, bueno, a veces depende cómo caiga el Holy Week de Semana Santa. Pero, pues, por lo general, casi todas las empresas lo dan como una vacación. Es vacación y también es un día uh -huh. festivo, como holiday. Uh -huh. Now, Mother's Day, for example. Mother's Day is a holiday, but it also is a vacation. Uh -huh. Es día festivo, pero también es vacación. Bueno, la mayoría de las empresas uh -huh. lo dan como, como una, una vacación. Father's Day, que antes no era, no era vacación, pero ahora sí, ya lo es. Uh -huh. todo, todo depende, ¿verdad? Si nos lo dan de vacación, pues es un vacation. So es holiday y a veces son ambos. Es el día festivo, pero también una vacación. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, es. entonces en holiday es cuando ya está decretado un día que es un festivo. No, no, bueno, sí, es, es festivo, exacto. Uh -huh. A veces depende de los países, porque hay países, ajá, hay países que, por ejemplo, eh, Mother's Day no es holiday para ellos, pero en otros uh -huh. países sí, en la mayoría de los países sí lo es, uh -huh. o Father's Day, uh -huh. okay. Valentine's Day, es un holiday, pero, Day. pero no, es este, no es una vacación, en el caso de Valentine's ah, okay. Day. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. O Independence okay. Day que casi siempre es, es un día, bueno, es un día festivo, un holiday, y también uh -huh. una vacación. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Any other questions? Ok. Any questions? Eh, por este, cuando se escribe ahí, para mí es la primera vez que yo veo que el surname eh, se uh -huh. refiere al apellido, ¿verdad? Exactly. Yeah, it's not very common. De hecho, es más común utilizar last name que surname. Ah, esa es la palabra. Esa es la uh -huh. palabra que yo last name, como last decir name. último nombre. 
the last ajá, name. Ajá, si lo traducimos literalmente, pero es el apellido. Sí. Es el apellido. Sí, sí es más común utilizar last name que surname, pero sí aparece en bastantes textos. Son uh -huh. sinónimos. Yes. Sí, porque yo, uh -huh. este, perdón, disculpen. Yes, yo yes, había yes, escuchado yes. este por apellido, solo last name. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. sí. Surname no es muy común, son sinónimos. Sinónimo y, y, y last name, ¿qué sería? Si sí, eso es en sí un sinónimo, surname y last name, ¿qué, ¿cómo le llamaríamos esa, eh, ese es artículo apellido. de palabra? Uh -huh. This one is an, uh, is an uh -huh. adjective. Es un adjetivo porque last adjetivo. significa uh -huh. último, pero es un adjetivo. Uh -huh. Es como un último nombre, ¿verdad? Si lo traducimos literalmente, sí. pero es, es el apellido, el apellido asignado. Surname, uh -huh. y, es un y, y si, sinónimo con adjetivo, este, ¿cuáles serían las diferencias de, de esas dos palabras? Sinónimos, but they are adjectives, uh -huh. son adjetivos, uh -huh. pero son uh -huh. sinónimos. O sea, usted puede utilizar uh -huh. tanto last name como surname, y ambos son válidos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The two forms are, are possible. Ok. Okay, we're going to take some minutes to pass the list. Okay. So let me know when you are present. Let me check here. Right, let's see, Alicia Maribel. Alicia. Angelica Maria. Angelica Maria. No. Brenda Marcela. Brenda Marcela. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you. Then we have Jessica Saray. Present. Thank you. Joaquín de Jesus. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Thank you so much. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Thank you. Kevin Orlando. Present. Thank you. Loida Citali. Present. Thank you so much. Luis Antonio. Luis Antonio. Is the present, Luis? Luz Margel. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you. Present. María Inés. María Inés. Marvin Manuel. Marvin. No. Miguel Antonio. Present. Thank you. Oscar Esaú. Present. Thank you. Reina Isabel. Reina Isabel. René Alfonso. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you. Sandra Marisol. Present. Thank you. Veronica Maricela. Present. Thank you so much. Yancy Yamilet. Jancy Yamile. Thank you. Jancy Alexandra. Jancy Alexandra. Present. Thank you. And Jessica Esmeralda. Yes, I remember. Jessica Esmeralda, you told me, yes. And Jessica Rivas. Jessica Rivas. I remember I saw Jessica. All right. Thank you, guys. Now let's continue here with our class. ¿Se puede ver la pantalla? 
las diapositivas. Yes. Yes, you can see. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, we got the practice here. Yes. Now, let's continue then with some adjectives. Let's see about adjectives to describe. Have here some adjectives to describe appearances, but also the manner how the person is, appearance of people, and also personalities that we have. For example, thin, fat, mm -hmm. that's the contrary, fat, thirsty, that is about physical reaction. We also have relaxed, strong. Shy. Shy is like timid. Timid. Scared. What is scared? Asustado. Asustado. Correct. Old. Viejo. Viejo. Okay. De la tercera edad. Can be young. Joven. Joven. Relaxed. Relajado. Relajado. Okay. And notice that some persons, they are relaxed, right? They have a relaxed personality. They have problems, but they have a relaxed personality. Strong. What is a strong? Fuerte. Fuerte. Shy? Shy? Timida. Timido. Ah, oh, that's good. Thing? Timido. Sorry? Alta. Delgado. Delgado. Ah, delgado. Ajá. Delgado o delgada, right? Los, todos los adjetivos aplican tanto para él como para ella. Fat. What is fat? It's the contrary oh, thing. Gordo. gordo. Right? Thirsty. Need water. Need to drink water. So what is thirsty? Necesitado. Eh, sediento. In specific. Ah, sediento. Sediento. <laughs> sediento. Correct. So we have sí. thin, fat. Thirsty, relaxed, strong, shy, scared, old, young. And young. we have other options that we have here. Other general appearance. Beautiful is very common. Beautiful, pretty, elegant, funny. What is funny? Triste. No, the contrary. Funny. Divertido. It's divertido. Uh, eh, divertido. Divertido. Alegre de culpa y la happy. So that's funny. Divertido, chistoso. Right? Like in a circus, right? That can be funny also. Cute. What is cute? Lindo. Lindo. All right, that's good. Lindo, tierno. Cute. For example, what can be cute? A rabbit? Is possible. A rabbit is very cute. Handsome. What is handsome? Guapo. Guapo. That's good. Handsome. Elegante. That's good. Elegance. It would be this one. Elegant. Elegant. My handsome. Guapo. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It means maravilloso. Gorgeous. Ugly. What is ugly? Feo. Feo, fea. Ugly. That's good. Okay. Attractive. 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 Uh -huh. That's good. Okay. So we have here different adjectives. We have for uh, different personalities. We have also physical appearance or how the person is internally. Right? And we know that there are different characteristics. How you can describe a person, how the person is. We have here the video. We are going to watch it. Okay, let 
me wait here for the connection because there is some problem with, with the video in the connection. But let's continue practicing here. As we have different adjectives, it's possible also to describe. Now we have other possibilities here. It says to describe character. We know the character, the mood of the person, if the person is happy, I would like for you to talk about angry. a friend, a family member, okay, a co-worker that you know really whom you can okay, describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, personality and appearance of people. Hi everyone, okay. in this class you'll learn... Can you hear the video? Se escucha? Yes. Yes? Okay, perfect. Adjectives. Yo describe the personality Little? and appearance of people. Let me check here. Hi, everyone. Personality and appearance of people. Okay, now, so yeah. Se puede escuchar. Can you hear it? People. Let's get started by listening and... Yes, se escucha. Yes, yes. Yes, okay, yes. okay good. Um, I'll go yes. ahead and play the audio oh. and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, co-worker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co worker Chris is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. ¿Te gustaría ver el video de nuevo? Yes. 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 Okay. So that we can remember adjectives. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio, and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, co-worker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co-worker, Chris, 
is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so let's remember here, we have different adjectives like to describe personalities. Another example that we can have is attentive. Attentive is like you pay attention, right? For example, in the class, you pay attention. So you can say, he is very attentive. Calm. What is calm? Calmado. Yeah, that's good. Nice. We have intelligent. Calm. Intelligent. Nice. intelligent. Faithful. Faithful means that you can trust in a person, like confiably. That is faithful. Then we have right. pessimistic. Well, it's similar than Spanish, right? Pessimistic. It's like a negative person, right? Pessimistic. Pessimista. Friendly. Exactly. That's correct. Friendly. What is friendly? Amistoso. Amistoso. Uh -huh. Amigable. Yeah, that's good. Good tempered. Buen temperamento. Yeah, that's good. It's like not angry, right? Not for an angry person. It's good tempered. Now, if you say the contrary, bad temper is always angry. Happy. That's happy. Feliz. That's yes. right. Hard working. Hard working. Trabajador. Trabajador. Yeah, that's good. Honest. Honesto. That's good. Nervous. Nervioso. Nervioso. Good, okay. Humble. Enfermo? Uh, no, yes, we got the, the picture, right? But humble means humilde. Humble. Humble. Living, living means active. Animado, eh, alegre, activo. It's for a person that is very active. Obedient. 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 Right? Obedient, right. Optimistic. Uh -huh. That's good for a positive person, right? Very, very positive person. Now, we can give an example. For example, if you say, my friend is very intelligent. Very. Remember that very, that means only mass emphasis. So if you say, my friend is very intelligent. So you can describe a person with this manner. Now, any other person? Jensi, give us an example, please. Jensi Alexandra. Give us an example. With this characteristic, you can describe different person. Your friend, your mother, your sister, your father. Um, sorry, uh, my cousin mm -hmm. is very honest. Very honest. That's good. My cousin is very honest. Good. That's very nice. Okay. Look, tomorrow we're going to continue with more examples. Mañana vamos a continuar y vamos a realizar más ejercicios acerca de ¿Qué quería decir? Lively. Lively. Lively, this uh -huh. one. Lively. Uh -huh. Active. Uh -huh. Activo. Alegre. Uh -huh. Activo. Animado. Lively. Uh -huh. Lively. Lively uh -huh. person. Yes. Okay? So tomorrow we continue with more exercise. Vamos a seguirlo practicando mañana. Any question about it? No questions? No. Okay. Have a beautiful night, guys. We'll continue tomorrow with this. Okay, good evening. Have a good, good night. night. Take care. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey,